Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at Rapido's RDCs. This is a recent release. We've got a DC version, which is Boston and Maine, the McGinnis scheme. And then we've also got a DCC and sound version, which we will be thoroughly showing you. And that is a Baltimore and Ohio scheme. So let's get started on the review. About $300 for the sound version and about $200 for the non-sound version is what you're going to look at uh, paying around the market. So let's get started right now. Alright, I'm going to unbox one and then show you the other. So we'll unbox the DC version first. You've got the RDC pamphlet, beautiful design here. Bud design. The bud colors. Now Rapido has both French and English. So, because they are a Canadian company, so French and English. English is on the other side, so we'll take a look at that on the manual here. You've got functions, you've got humor kind of injected in here, usually with uh, the personality of the owner, who's a very fun, loving guy. And you've got C CVs, you've got volume settings in the uh, CVs, how to factory reset, limited lifetime warranty, and that ends, ends at about 20 pages, and then there's some history. So I'm going to show you that, because I am recording several videos. I'm going to be out of town, so kind of a busy day. So you can pause on the screen if you want to read about the history. There's the functions. Again, pause on the screen if you'd like, but we'll go over a lot of this. And they are actually restoring an RDC, so if you'd like, visit repeatotrains.com and you can contribute to the restoration of that RDC because they saved one from scrap. That's it for the manual. You've got a White River Productions flyer in here. Railroad Model Craftsman, Model Railroad News, they're a great publishing company. There's more information about donating and saving the via or via RDC. I always say it wrong and I can't ever remember which one is right. Exploded parts diagram and decal sheet to decal yours as you see fit. So that's all the goodies that come in the box. And you've got the actual RDC. You have grading and couplers, a couple extra pieces there and a baggie. Now let's take a look at the locomotive itself here. awkward position where the camera is and where I am so sorry if you get bumped occasionally but we're gonna pull this out and set it down looks like one little part popped off we'll get that back on take a closer look all right let's take a look at some detail I'm not as familiar with this prototype as I'd like to be so we will just go through this as much as possible um, first of all you've got the this end, which has the metal couplers, you've got windshield, uh, etched metal windshield wipers, some safety chains or cords to protect people from falling off the end as the train <laughs> just goes. You've got a platform here, end here, got LED headlights, a horn, you've got their beautiful stainless steel finish, which, are, which is very, very interesting and uh, very, very nicely done. It has a nice uniform appearance. It looks like stainless steel. You've got the vestibules on the end with the stairs, separately applied grab irons. The train number is actually in here in the number boards. You've got different window shade levels where some people have pulled it up, some people have pulled them all the way down. You've got the nice truck detail. Now these don't have skirting, so Rapido really goes very, very far in the detail of the underbody, which I will show you real quickly. 
That is all the underbody detail. It's just an insane amount of detail. It's uh, very prototypically accurate and it looks very nice, minus of course the Rapido logos. But uh, other than that, just look at all that detail they go to. And it really shines in this model because from trackside, without the skirts, you see all that underbody detail. So it's nice and accurate. Inside, we'll look at the lighting later, but LED lighting in inside as well. You've got the roof blister here with a lot of nice vent detail. Uh, metal grating detail. Baltimore and Ohio along the side, 1901 in the middle here, which is, again, the train number. We will go around this way a bit and show you the other end. So you may be wondering why there's one windshield wiper, because that's the side of the operator or engineer, whatever you want to call him, actually runs. The other side is not ran. So diaphragm here, which... Um, there's no spring loading or anything, that's a fixed diaphragm, but you've also got an air horn down here and more of the roping or metal chains, whatever that is, to protect people from plummeting off the edge there. Separately applied grabs on this side and the vestibule, again, entry door there. So, and then more of the, you know, nearly the same detail, some variations, obviously, they are prototypically correct on this side. That's all I'm going to point out in detail because I'm really out of my league here on knowledge of the real thing, but we'll go ahead and look at operation. Just want to show you the Boston and Maine scheme. Just some of the differences that are basically road name and road number specific detail, mainly road name, like the ends here. Obviously, in this case, you've got two windshield wipers uh, versus the one on the other one. You've got Boston and Maine logos on the end. You've got grab irons. Well, you have them on the other one too. I'm just kind of referencing here, but uh, several different ends. I believe 14 variations of this RDC. Um, the blister has uh, some differences as well. So that's just some of the differences that just jump out to me. Again, not a lot of time to research because I have a class to attend out of out of state for a little while. So kind of rushing through a lot of these reviews before I leave, but. Um, you've got lots of, of detail here, uh, a lot of variations and differences from the Baltimore and Ohio and all the other different ones, but all those required different ends, or a lot of them required different ends, so Rapido really answered the call for different road name variations on these RDCs. Alright, pressing F8 starts the sequence on these, startup sequence, so we'll do that so you can listen to the beautiful sounds that the ESU Loke Sound decoder provides. You hear the fuel pump at first, and then I'll kick on both the motors. I'm gonna take a look at some of the sounds here and some of the functions. F0 headlights, F1 bell. F2 horn. Oh, that is beautiful. I gotta do that again. That knocking is not anything outside uh, in my house. That's part of the decoder. What are the features? F3 straight to 4. We'll skip that. I'll show you that later. F4 is brakes. more of a actual moving thing. Actually applying the brakes won't allow the throttle to move up. F5 Doppler horn. F6 is ditch lights, which are not equipped on this model, not needed. F7 is a headlight dimmer, which works. Just checking that out. 
F8 is the start up and shut down. F9 was red classification lights on some models. F10 is the door gyro lights were applicable. F11 is Doppler horn. F12 servicing mode. There's no F13. Uh, F14 is Doppler horn. A single bladder and 15 is Doppler horn Hancock air whistle. So we'll go over um, some of these here. Mostly the straight to four I want to show you. So I'm going to zoom out now because straight to four <laughs> and back up. Oh, there is the red um, classification lights. I'm sorry. All right, so F3, straight to four, notches it up to notch four there, regardless of how fast you're moving on the speed steps. So it looks like I'm really working here hard because, you know, it's really um, notched up there, but barely moving. So that's great for simulating going up hills or, you know, working your way through some track. So, as you can see, even when I'm stopped, that is what F3 is straight to 4 does. Now I'm going to hit F4, that applies the brakes, nice way to stop and start the RDC with a function, kind of like playing with the brakes or writing the brakes. Alright, F9. As you may be able to see, turns on and off the red classification lights like we talked about. And those are all the functions we're going to cover right now because there's a lot of other features to cover in just a very limited time in this review. All right, we're going to listen to some Doppler horns real quick. F5 does the Doppler horn M3H slow. So we'll do that real quick. is the M3H fast. F14 is the single bladder. Function 15 is the air, the Hancock air whistle. As you can hear the brakes there, brake squeal. Right at the beginning, I want to now focus in on slow speed control. This is kind of a testament to the motor and the decoder. So I'm going to back this thing up at one speed step. Oh, look at that. Perfectly smooth at one speed step. Nice speed control. Two. Three. Four. And five. Perfect. Brake squeal again, we'll go forward at one speed step. Look how smooth that is at one, just amazing. Um, really interesting point is the motors are tucked up inside each end versus you know throughout the middle or anything, which is nice and prototypically correct. But there's one speed step. Surprised they got such smoothness out of that with the way they did the motors, but they did perfectly smooth. Two. Three, 
four and five. I'm going to hit the F8 button, which will start the shutdown sequence, so you can hear that. There you have it, shutdown sequence of the RDC. So I want to talk about the lighting for a minute. Real beautiful, real even lighting. You've got the number boards lit on each end, as you can see I'm pointing out there. And the inside is nicely detailed and has color variations from the table to the chairs. Beautifully interior, interior detail and nothing uh, short of what you'd expect from Rapido, which they are just perfectionists when it comes to models. Here's a closer look of the interior detail I was talking about. You can see the sunshades, the different uh, levels up and down, and then the beautiful interior detail. Blue chairs, you can even see some red tabletops. Just uh, very, very nicely done. Got the RDC on the scales here. Comes in at 0.69 pounds, 11 ounces, 310 grams, 0 0.310 kilograms. So just a little less than three quarters of a pound. Checking coupler height here with the KD coupler height gauge. Dead even on this side. And dead even on that side. So very good job by Rapido. They're always in standards and they always do pretty good work so nice job.